Hi, Oli, Mrs. Barrett here. And in celebration of Native American Heritage Month, today's first page Friday is Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhorse. It is a post-apocalyptic fantasy novel. The characters are based on Native American folklore. It follows Maggie, a monster hunter who gets tasked with finding a missing girl. Right, chapter one. The monster has been here. I can smell him. The stench is part the acrid sweat of the exertion, part the meaty ripeness of a carnivore's unwashed flesh, and part something else I can't quite name. It fouls the evening air, stretching beyond smell to something deeper, more base. It unsettles me, sets my own instincts howling and warning. Cold sweat breaks out across my forehead. I wipe it away with the back of my hands. I can also smell the child he's stolen. Her scent is lighter, cleaner, innocent. She smells alive to me, or at least she was alive when she was left here. By now, she could smell quite different. The door to the Luca Chukai chapter house swings open. A woman, likely the child's mother, sits stone-faced in an old linen metal folding chair at the front of the small meeting room. She's flanked by a middle-aged man in a silver belly, cowboy hat, and a teenage boy in army fatigues who looks a few years younger than me. The boy holds the woman's hand and murmurs in her ear. Most of the town of Luca Chukai is here, too for support or for curiosity, or because they are drawn to the spectacle of grief. They huddle in groups of two or three, hunched in morose clumps on the same battered gray chairs, breathing in stale air made worse by the bolted up windows and the suffocating feel of too many people in too small a space. They are all locals, Navajos or Diné, as we call ourselves, whose ancestors have lived at the foothills of the Chuska Mountains for more generations than the Philagonas have lived on this continent, who can still tell stories of relatives broken and murdered on the long walk, or in Indian boarding schools like it was last year, who have likely never traveled off their reservation, even back when it was just forgotten backwater ward of the United States and the Diné Ta risen like it is today. These Diné know the old stories sung by the Hitelia, the ancient legends of monsters and the heroes who slew them. Even before the monsters rose up out of the legend to steal village children from their beds. And now they are looking to be, for me, to be their hero. But I'm no hero. I'm more of a last resort, a scorched earth policy. I'm the person you hire when the heroes have already come home in body bags. So Maggie is kind of like the anti-hero, but um, she really has a good heart. And um, you guys will really enjoy this story. And it actually is a series, so this is the first book. And this is the second book, Storm of Locusts. And if you like these, you'll also like Give Me Some Truth by Eric Gansworth and Two Robes by Joseph Bruchak. All right, and all these are available at Olympic High School Library. So let us know if you want to try one. And hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving.